So, yeah, in the last video in this series, we talked about um, shadow work and how that you can really develop as a human and not have all of the parts of you being whole and um, therefore not really have the structural integrity to really show up fully in the world at those highest levels of your potential and your expression, which can be frustrating. So for people who aren't aware of exactly what shadow work is, or maybe don't quite get how it'll relate to them, what is shadow work, Kylie Ryan? And um, how is it important for evolution? Yeah, so shadow work is, well, I, before we kind of, before we go into that, it's like thinking about um, this idea of the light of your consciousness because shadow yeah. can sometimes mean for people, ooh, dark, sh ooh, bad shadow. And what we're talking about is this idea of shadow as unconsciousness, shadow mm. as the place where your consciousness is not, where your awareness is not. It's like in your blind spot. And Got so it. if we speak to, um, you know, kind of this this quite famous quote of Carl Jung's, um, what is it? Uh, 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 uh. I'd rather be whole than good. I'd rather be whole than good. There's another, there's another one. Oh, until you make your unconscious ah. conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. Mm. So mm, there's two, even better. Right? there's two pieces here, right? It's like, until you make your unconscious conscious, which like, until you make your shadow unconscious, AKA shadow conscious, yeah. it will direct your life and you will call it fate. So if you're coming up against chronic situations, struggles, challenges that you can't seem to get over, that you can't mm. seem to get through, um, then that is a sign that you have a shadow playing at shadows, playing out in that particular area. So, um, yeah, I was talking to someone just before a client and she said, oh, you know, I had all of this and we're going great. And then something happens and mm. it's always something that we can't control, like the oh, economy wow. or the GFC or this or that. And it just oh, it ruined me. And I brought that quote in for this scenario. And it's like, if if you're going really well and then you get a big tax bill or you're going really well and then your kids get sick and you can't keep going or you're going really well mm. and then something happens and you sabotage it. Um, or it just kind of seems to fall over. That's a sign that there's a shadow in that area. And so that's where the universe is kind of presenting. I like to think of it like a mirror, like mm. the world is presenting a mirror to our beliefs um, because, you know, there's this, this thing about uh, manifestation or, you know, this, the secret kind of popularized this idea that you manifest what you think about and what you want. And that's, yep not entirely true because, because there is a, a, an aspect of being clear about what you want, but you don't manifest what you want. You manifest what you are. Mm. You manifest your, you manifest from the emanation of yourself. And so, yes, you need to know what you want and then you need to embody that so deeply that you start to emanate that frequency and then draw that thing to you. And so, right. And so shadows yeah. is like, I could be wanting something, but then constantly have things pop up in the way because I'm actually emanating, um, I'm emanating lack. I'm emanating that I don't have this thing and I want it and it's out there. Mm. And so what happens is that with shadow, um, it's, it's the place where we're unconscious, where we're most unconscious. And so it's the things that kind of seem to blindside us. It's the things that we judge, the things that we... Um, that we discount or we say, oh, I don't want to, I would never want to be like that person or I would never want to mm. be like that type of, you know, that type of scenario. And that's a sign that we have judged someone else's value system, that we've judged someone else's way of doing things, way of valuing life. And mm. that that is a blind spot for us because every single value system has merit and value. Um, every single value system, when we think about spiral dynamics, every sing single value system has contribute has a contribution to make. And without mm. that being there, like if I bring this one back up again. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe even the right, MeWe um, spiral. Yeah, the MeWe one. Yeah. This one, are all the same version, different versions of the same thing. Um, mm. Yeah, this idea of, you know, we might be, like we've talked about before that this side, the purple, blue, green side is more a we 
sense of tribe and so purple tribe per, you know blue order and and structure green humanitarian community based and then beige survival power and then success pragmatism and so mm. that's the individualistic sense of like me what do i want and so we might go up um and be more focused on tribe and then judge people um who are who we might see if someone is kind of operating from these values memes more prevalent, yeah. they might judge someone else and go, you're so selfish. You're only in it for yourself. You don't even yeah. care about anybody else. You just want it for the money or you just want, you know, what you're going to get out of it. And you don't, mm -hmm. you know, you don't care about anybody else. Mm, but then that and person so is struggling and unable to pay their bills or burned out and, and then not serving anyone because then they become, in a sense, uh, un unwhole. Victimized. Or tell me about that. Yeah, victim. Well, they, you become the victim of your own compassion, mm. and so when you're constantly looking outside of yourself to what do others need, what do they need, what like what can I give, what can I serve, how can I help? Um, it can come from a very altruistic, caring place, um, and you can kind of become the victim to your own compassion because you'll be helping people for free. You'll be discounting. You'll be going above and beyond to serve clients and answer messages at all hours of the day and night or, <laughs> you know, doing all sorts of things to help others. And it's like, well, what is the cost to you? What are you sacrificing within yourself to help others? Mm. And it's a sign of, you know, in, in many cases, it's a sign of a lack of self-esteem. It's a lack of mm. valuing yourself enough to um to give yourself what you need to thrive and there's this kind of paradox here for people that are operating from this um type of selfless um more selfless or altruistic type of pathway mm. is that the paradox is in order you know you can't give from an empty cup fit your own oxygen mask first those kind of classic you know overused yeah. statements but that's the truth well, it's like yeah right? You can give from an empty cup. You can give and like, oh, I'll give you the shirt off my back and I'll pour <laughs> yeah. out my blood and serve it to you. I chop off my arm and you can have it here. You yeah, can. I've, I've got two. <laughs> right here. I've got, yeah. here, take my kidney. I've got another one. You yeah. Know, well, like, literally. Yeah. You can give from an empty cup, but you will become severely <laughs> depleted to the point where you can't give at all at a certain mm. point. And you'll become resentful. And then you can end up in a drama cycle with your clients where you're giving, giving, giving and not receiving anything back. And or then get family. to the point where you're like, or your family, right? What am I even doing this for? Yeah. And so that, yeah. that's kind of where we often find um, spiritual coaches, healers, people who tend to be more in the healing, helping professions tend mm. to, as a general rule, can, can fall into these traps. And then on the other side of the equation, and so they're judging the people that are selfish and going, well, I'm not in it for the mm. money. I don't want it to be all about me. It's just about my impact and how I want to help the world and the legacy that I want to leave and the change mm. that I want to make in the world. Mm -hmm. And so we'll, you know, people in that frame of mind will judge other people for being selfish or narcissistic or only in it for the money. Yeah. Just wanting the instant other. gratification and affluence and, you know, their own physiological needs their own needs meanwhile, met, right yeah meanwhile it's like that it's like you're not getting needs. your needs met and yeah. and so that's that's that piece is yeah it's like they're human needs and so when we have our own human needs in our unconsciousness like we're not conscious of our own needs you know mm. think about some time when you've been really engrossed in something and you forget to have lunch because you're mm. so engrossed in doing the thing that you actually forget about your own need yeah. And so, or ignore, you know, ignore something basic like going to the toilet and hold it so long, hold it so long that you almost explode. And so it's <laughs> yeah. like, you can have this kind of sense of ignoring your need for service mm. to the point that it actually depletes your ability to serve at all. And so that's yes. one side of the equation. The other side of the equation that we see quite often are those mm. that have that, that level of pragmatic or um, commercial success, but are struggling with oh. a sense of fulfillment and connection. And so yeah. this is probably people that tend to fall to the other side of the, the pathway, more of the self-focus, 
where it's like, well, what yes. do I need to survive, right? What do I need to survive? How am I going to improve my power and my ability to make a different, you know, my ability to make an impact in the world and get what I want? Um, and then, you know, mm. how am I going to create success for myself and maybe less like success for myself and my family? It's more like, mm, but mm. it's myself and my family. And yeah, so it's, yeah. Because I wouldn't I want actually... them to make me look bad, you know? <laughs> 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 I wouldn't my kids don't go like, to private school. What would they think of me if, you know, if my kid wasn't the best that's the, rower in the school or didn't have the best violin? Like, come on, like dance. My exactly. <laughs> well, um, in a way, it's like sometimes yeah. that sense of, oh, I'm doing it for my family is actually, yeah. okay, well, I'm doing it for my family, but my family is actually just supporting my sense of status. Yes. And so, and so the, the beige, red, orange side is much more focused on self and status within society mm -hmm. um, and wanting to get what they want so that they can have the status that they want and feel mm. worthy, right? It's like, I need to gather all these things around me to prove how worthy I am. And I'm going to be, you know, strong and, and fit and healthy and achieve and create, you know, whether it's, I want to achieve lots of financial wealth or I want to achieve physical wealth, or I want to, you know, get the hot wife or, you know, have the great, house or whatever it is or travel the mm. world or those types of things it's like what are the experiences that I want for myself yeah so that I can get my needs met and yeah. there's absolutely nothing wrong nothing with wrong. that either that's <laughs> yeah. amazing right that's yeah. amazing and people that tend to fall on that side of the values um equation will tend to judge other people for being rescuers or being mm. too soft. you know being too soft Hippies. Being too much be bleeding heart hippies, right? Stinky mm. hippies, bleeding heart hippies. Mm. Oh, these like these wounded, wounded rescuers that are trying mm. to go out and save the world and they can't even save themselves. Yeah. Um, and so that's the kind of dichotomy that we find ourselves in, particularly within the coaching and personal growth industry. They're kind of the broad strokes archetypes. Mm -hmm. Um, and and you can kind of you can kind of feel them um separated out inside you know purple blue green uh spiritual coaches who are following yeah. a particular system who are you know wanting their their tribe and their community and their you know beautiful experiences and retreats and you know we're yeah. hanging out in this retreat and we're gonna do cuddle puddles and dance together under the moonlight and it's gonna be amazing <laughs> we're gonna change the world and raise the consciousness of the world sign me awesome. up awesome <laughs> sign me up super fun mm. And the other side is, you know, the the maybe sales, business focused um, coaching approach, consultant approach that is more like, I'm going to go in and get shit done. I'm going to get this system happening and we're going to make it happen. And we're going to, you know, increase profitability. We're going to increase organizational efficiency. And we're going to make things happen. We're going to make it profitable. Sign me up for that one too. <laughs> right. And yeah. so it feels like these two are intention with each other it feels like mm -hmm. they're kind of opposing forces and in many ways they are it's like the service to self service to other service to self service to other um mm -hmm. success fulfillment you know uh individual autonomy and creating your genius and helping others and helping the world and so, so what the oh go on i was gonna say this might be an interesting place to just pause because i think there's a lot in that and so we'll let there's people heaps. uh there's heaps in that <laughs> so let's digest. let's just digest so let's sit on that of those to, you know, whether those three things coming together between individual and collective and what that looks like in yeah. both individuals and within our own psyches, because we have these whole parts. And then in the we next video, let's look, them. we have all of them. So then the next video, let's look at what happens in the second tier, the radical jump yeah. in consciousness, where we get to reconcile, reconcile contradiction, aka reconcile contradiction. have your cake and eat it too and not get fat. Is it possible? Time will tell. Have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> <laughs>